Singapore is one of the wealthiest countries in the world, but there's a side to it that we don't often get to see. Let's bring in Aiko Dodd and our special affairs commentator for more. Now, when people think of Singapore, the words like clean, safe, efficient, and of course, prosperous come to mind. But the island state's stunning economic growth has come at a cost. During the day, poverty is nowhere to be seen in Singapore. The island state's GDP per capita now stands at just over $60,000, making it the ninth richest in the world. But at night, homeless people spill out of the shadows and onto the streets in search of sustenance. It's sad to grow old like this. We don't need much, as long as we can eat. It's not important whether the economy grows or not. The most important thing is food. In 2017, the Ramon Magsaysay Award, known as Asia's Nobel Prize, was given to Singaporean social activist Tony Tay. I never thought that our work will grow so big. There is no big plans when we started. He was recognized for helping Singapore's disadvantaged. Tony has been providing free meals to those in need since 2003 through the aid organization he founded called Willing Hearts. Nearly 200 volunteers prepare and deliver about 6,000 hot meals a day. They need bread. My childhood, when there's no bread, we kneel down and pray for bread. After that, we start a small group. From a small pot to bigger, 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 until a giant pot. Poverty exists not just on the streets. 80% of the population live in flats built by the Housing and Development Board, or the HDB. In this aging society of 5.6 million, elderly residents often reside in these apartments, isolated and destitute. You showed me around uh, yeah. Singapore okay. and said that uh, in Singapore it's hard to see poverty because it's invisible. Correct. Well, what did you mean by that? But you see, because we have HDB flats mm -hmm. and all of us are staying in a flat, so the door is always shut. You can't see anything. Willing Heart focuses on reaching out to the aging poor. This 72-year-old woman suffered from polio in childhood. Since her parents and siblings have passed away, she has no choice but to depend on help from the government and social workers. So Tony's volunteers visit her every day to check on her welfare. I'm very suffering for myself. No, you still got the strength. You are down here. You know what I mean? I tell you, want to visit you, I visit you, see? Mm. Sweetheart, mm. right? Mm. Yeah, I understand. What, what happened in the flat, nobody knows. I'm hungry, or I'm rich, or I'm poor. So now is how are we going to know a neighbor? Mm. To understand a neighbor, to say good morning to a neighbor. Then we will know what happened. Willing Heart also supports migrant workers who live on meagre salaries. In Singapore, about 40% of the population comes from abroad. These are some of Willing Heart's hot meal menu choices. Fish. Yeah, we don't cook meat here. Oh. No pork. Why is that? Because we uh, have Muslim, we got Indian, we got Chinese. As you see, we have all the different group of people come in, mm -hmm. different nationality, mm -hmm. come together, learn, bring home, and start there. We are a group of people who call ourselves Singaporeans. And the foreigners come in as one of us, as one united family. As disparity in society has become impossible to ignore, People are asking themselves, isn't there something we can do to help as Singaporeans? Have you come here before? Uh, no, this is my first time. 
And what do you usually do for work? Um, I'm a financial consultant. I'm willing to, to give the time and effort uh, that can help to make the people lives better. Why not? Does, does Singapore look like a happy country? We should look happy. If they're not happy, it means something wrong with them. Where we went wrong, we must change ourselves. We must see where we went wrong. Tony is delivering a powerful message to the next generation of Singaporeans via his willing hearts. Now, why are we going and why are we helping the poor? You know the poor is helping you, right? They are helping us to improve our life, number one. Number two, they are helping us to build our poor spirit to a happier spirit. You know that we are helping them and they are helping us to understand what is life.